friends welcome to e pg patasala i am professor s l sangam ugc mls fellow karnataka university darwad today let us see the first unit librometry bibliometrics scientometrics informatics and webometric its historical development Professor P C Mahalano Bis founder of the Indian Statistical Institute in the early 1950s argued that statistic is a key technology as it is required for all socio economic development activities and since statistical techniques are used in all development and forecasting studies in recent past statistic has been applied to a number of areas such as perspective planning industrial and agricultural development etc library and information managers have adopted a number of quantitative methods in recent year in order to evaluate library resources and services more objectively and effectively scientometrics or infometrics refer to quantitative techniques applicable to measure the records of human communication over the years several new terms have appeared on the horizon representing quantitative studies in library and information science so let us um, begin with the librometrix let us learn about the term its meaning and origin scope and application of librometrix librometrix it is a, a great contribution of dr s r ranganathan father of library movement in india and uh, we are very proud to inform inform you that the bibliometric is the first of its kind in the world and after that only the quantitative analysis uh, which is applicable to the library and information science have been emerged librometry meaning and definition in 1948 at the aslips conference in lamington spa ranganathan introduced the term librometry for the first time he suggested to develop librometry on the lines of biometry ecometry and physiometry his suggestions were avidly welcomed at the conference by bernal and others the term librometrics has two roots libra and metri the word libra connotes library and metrics means measurement Further as the librarian of the Madras University library he practiced various librometric techniques way back in 1925 in order to solve day to day library problems and to streamline the day to day library activities services for their clientele and also for the betterment of the library professional as a whole the scope of the librometrics The scope of the library is limited to the quantitative studies of books, readers and staff. Here, the books, readers and staff are the three constitute elements or factors of the library. The absence of any one of three will make the library cease to exist. Each has its own potentiality and it is only a sum of three that makes a library. Thus, we can measure all the characteristics of books, readers and staff. application for librometrics ranganathan in his paper presented in the drtc 7th annual seminar 1969 suggested a few example of statistic to library science based on his experience and the experiment carried out at the documentation research and training center outlined the application for librometrics first determination of the strength of library staff two disposition of library staff for circulation work during different library hours 3 disposition of library staff for reference service during different library hours 4 organization of library system establishing the distinctive between service library and dormitory library 5 design of library building fitting and furniture 6 book selection 7 absolute syntax and facet syntax in relation to classification 8 length of class number 9 variation in style in writing catalog entries and 10 doc finder 
friends so far we have seen about libra matrix it is uh, now the time to see the biblio matrix the biblio matrix is differs from libra matrix libra matrix is restricted to a particular library whereas the biblio matrix it is in general about the quantitative aspect of communicated written materials in the books and journals bibliometrics the term bibliometrics was first coined by pritchard in 1969 in preference to existing terminology statistical bibliography the word bibliometrics has two roots biblio and matrix the term biblio is derived from the combination of latin and greek word biblion equivalent to bylos meaning book paper which in turn was derived from the word bylos a city of phoenicia a noted city for export trade in paper the word matrix on the other hand indicates the science of meter that is measurement and is derived either from latin or greek word matricus or matricos respectively is managing measurement this term was coined for the first time by elan pritchard he used the term to describe all studies which seek to quantify the process of written communication phaethon also defined it as the quantitative treatment of the properties of recorded discourse and behavior pertaining to it scope of bibliometrics bibliometric studies include studies of the growth of the literature in some subject how much literature is contributed by various individual groups or organization or countries how much exists in various languages how the literature on some subject is scattered and how quickly the literature on some subject become out of date another important group of bibliometric studies relate to what source author cite day by day this study is attaining sophistication and complexity having national international and interdisciplinary character now we can see the bibliometric tools uh, how can be applied to the library and information science activities studies related to scattering of articles secondly geographical distribution language wise distribution institution wise distribution of articles third age distribution of documents fourth distribution of citations subject author language type journal etc fifth use of information storage and retrieval sixth application in the library use studies seventh to study the trends in in research and identifying the growth of literature eighth to identify authorship trends in the documents on various subjects ninth to measure the utility of library services tenth to evaluate library collection etc look into the or when we compare the libro matrix and uh, the biblio matrix libro matrix is restricted to a particular library whereas biblio matrix is in general studies the quantitative aspects of uh, communicated literature in the field of library and information science and even here we can see the various aspects of uh, communicated literature maybe its form maybe its type maybe its language maybe a particular country or even how actually it has been communicated in the different subjects that also we, we can study here friends so far we have discussed libro matrix and biblio matrix now let us discuss about scientio matrix scientio matrix the term originated as a russian term 
for the application of quantitative methods to the history of science, which studies the quantitative aspect of science. Scientometrics is considered with the quantitative features and characteristics of science and scientific research. Emphasis is placed on investigation in which the development and mechanism of science are studied by statistical mathematical methods. Scientometrics is now considered as part of the sociology of science and science applied to science policy making. Thus, scientometrics involves studies in sociology of science, history of science, growth of literature, behavior of scientists, science indicators, etc. Friends, uh, I can uh, put it in brief, scientometrics is actually a, a tool which has been used westerners specifically to study history of science. And uh, most of the European countries nowadays, they are having history of science institutes. With the help of that uh, history of science institutes, they are, they are able to give many indicators for their science and technology uh, subjects. And uh, uh, specifically, uh, De Sola Price has given much importance to the scientometrics. And uh, uh, when you think about uh, scientometrics, but uh, even though it looks like uh, similar to the similar to the librometrics and uh, bibliometrics, but uh, it is similar, but not same. So far, you have studied librometrics, bibliometrics and scientometrics. Now, let us move to informatrics. Information in its most restricted technical sense is a sequence of symbols that can be interpreted as a message. Information can be recorded as signs or transmitted as signals. Information is any kind of event that affects the state of dynamic system. Conceptually, information is the message being conveyed. The English word was apparently derived from the Latin stem information of the nominative information. This noun is in its turn derived from the verb informer to inform in the sense of to give form to the mind, to discipline, instruct or teach. Matrix means measuring. Informatrix is the study of quantitative aspect of information. This includes the production, dissemination and use of all forms of information regardless of its form or origin. According to Brooks, the word Informatrix was first proposed by Otto Näcke of West Germany in 1979. Then, FID constituted a committee with this name and Naik was its first chairman, then Rajan the next chairman of the committee, reformulated the objectives of Informatrix as provide reliable data for research and development, policy making and planning, to evaluate institutions, projects, articles, products and other academic activities and to identify or to develop the techniques or trace the origins and development of concepts. Dr. Ravichand Rao mentioned that it is a field wherein flow of information and behavior of information are analyzed, measured 
and quantitative relationships are established. In brief, I can summarize li uh, like this, librometrics related to library, bibliometrics related to communicative aspects of communicated literature and uh, scientometrics is a term derived from the Russian language and which is science of science. Informatrics is derived from the word information which is uh, uh, very much useful from the point of view of analyzation of the information and measuring of the quantity of information. Uh, friends, now let us uh, turn to the webometrics and uh, uh, cybermetrics. Both are similar, but uh, having a little different. The science of webometrics, also we can call cybermetrics, tries to measure the world wide web to get knowledge about the number and types of hyperlinks, structure of the world wide web and usage patterns. According to Bjorn Byrne and Ivingson, the definition of webometrics is the study of the quantitative aspect of the construction and usage of information resources, structures and technologies in the web drawing on bibliometric and informatrics approaches. The term webometrics was first coined by Almind and Ingvirsson. The second definition of webometrics has also been introduced the study of web based content with primarily quantitative methods for social science research goals using techniques that are not specific to one field of study, which emphasizes the development of applied methods for use in the wider social science. Little bit we can uh, see about cybermetrics. Cybermetrics is one of the recently emerged fields in the line of metric studies. It has gained much popularity since the mid 1990 with the advent of information technology. As it is mainly concerned with computer science based approaches, it has superseded all the other metric studies in this internet era. Cybermetrics is proposed as a generic term for the study of quantitative aspect of the construction and use of information sources, structures and technologies on the whole internet drawing on bibliometric and informatric approaches. Cybermetrics thus encompasses statistical studies of discussion groups mailing lists and other computer mediated communication on the internet, including world wide web. The, uh, I can uh, group uh, or I can make here two parts of the uh, quantitative analysis studies here. What first four we have studies, studied, librometrics, bibliometrics, informatrics, and scientometrics. So, these are more traditional and uh, abstract studies. And whereas, after ICT, information and uh, communication technology emerged, this uh, scientometricians have changed their way of studies. Like, uh, quantitative aspect means they have been derived the data from the internet and uh, much of their studies have been taken from internet, online databases and uh, it is also studying various uh, technical tools of uh, inter internet like uh, uh, 
search engines, search engines, databases, and uh, e-publishing, etc. We can collect the uh, data directly, and we can analyze it. In short, that we can call it as a web matrix. Friends, so far we have studied libro matrix, bibliometrics, informatrix, scientometrix, web matrix, cyber matrix. Uh, of the quantitative studies and I hope you understood all these uh, matrix uh, studies and uh, these studies are very much beneficial from the point of view of scientist and uh, library and information centers and uh, if you want to know more about these things uh, kindly go to the e-patashala text. Thank you.